Thanks, Harry. Um, the trapezium rule question. Here's the trapezium rule with three strips, each of which three. This is a, a slightly odd thing because yeah. there, there seems to be in recent years the trapezium rule question has gone for not very many strips, which is quite odd. That, um, it almost seems pointless to be using it to do with so many strips, but this is with three strips to estimate the area of that region. Right. When I do the trapezium rule, um, I, you've got this in the formula sheet. And in the formula sheet, it says that the integral of y dx is approximately equal to, I think this is how it's written, a half h, and then it says y0 plus yn plus twice y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 plus yn minus 1. There we go. And I think pretty much exactly how it is written in the sheet. Smiley face, because it's on the, on the formula sheet. Um, when I do these, although I might not do this one because it's there's so little going on with it, I draw up a little table where I'm going to put my, my function up here. And I'm going to put my x values down this column. Now my x values are supposed to go from 1 to 10. And it tells me how wide the strips are. So I'm going to start at 1. Strips of width 3. So my next value is going to be 4. And my value after that is going to be 7. And my value after that is going to be 10. So I'm going to work out those values. Um, three strips means we need to have four ordinates because there's a gap between every two ordinates. And I'm, I've split my y side into two columns. I'm going to put the first one here. So that's the cube root of 7 plus 1. So the cube root of 8, which is 2. Over here, I'm going to put the second value, which is the cube root of 7 plus 4, which is the cube root of 11. Over here, I'm going to put the cube root of 7 plus the next x value, so cube root of 7 plus 7, which is 14. And the last value goes back into the first column, and so that's the cube root of 17, 7 plus 10. And now it's just a case of feeding those into the formula. So the area is half. H is the step size, so the difference between each of these values. So that's 3. And then the reason for doing a table like this is that we're going to put in the first plus the last. They go on their own. <coughs> plus twice the other values. And then we go straight to the calculator. Thanks, Harry. Um, typing it all in. Is, is this quite dull television as I type in? You could pan around the room while we're doing it. You know. See that brain at work. Oh, okay. Just. <laughs> Have you zoomed in on? Oh no, it's moving action. Is that was that the right? How zooming into this room fast? I don't really like that. I've got an answer. <laughs> I've got twenty point seven five nine. Um, what? <laughs> Did you just swear on the video? No, I said that's great. Oh, that's great. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Give your answer correct to three significant figures. <laughs> so we've got 20.8 to three significant figures. Great. Now. You did. Um, the second part of this question, the last bit of the question, did say explain how the trapezium rule could be used to obtain a more accurate estimate of the area. What could we have done? 
Increase the number of trapeziums, more strips, um, smaller width of the, the step size, any of those things. So, uh, part, part two, we could have had more strips. We could have reduced the width of each strip. The key thing is we, we would have had to do more strips. That, that's what would have sorted. You know that speaking rule, what was it at the end? Plus Y, some of that, I couldn't read it. Um, N minus one. N minus one. one. But it's on the formula sheet. It is. Right. Question two. Thanks, please. Come on, then.